What's going on guys, Dark Knight here, back on Dream of the Breakers, Season 4 slash first anniversary video. I mean, not only this isn't really an anniversary related video, it's kind of just uh, leaks that are happening within the game. But uh, here we have more stuff, uh, this is the last thing that we talked about uh, related to Goku Black. So this video is kind of going to be about Goku Black and about other leaks as well. So here we have some material names, uh, credits to Winsa and the official Dream of the Breakers uh, Reddit Discord. And uh, oh, we also have something for Zamasu Eyebrows as well, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but here we have Jocko who is probably looking to be a uh, survivor skin. So we have Jocko face, Jocko purple, white, eye, mouth, gun, white. And if we kind of like look at Jocko himself and based on the descriptions, the JCO, the purple, the white, uh, the gun, all of this relates to Jocko. So Jocko is pretty likely to probably be a future survivor skin. I highly doubt he'll be a transfer in this game. I know he is a playable character in Xenoverse 2, but like it it's possible, it's possible. But I really just feel like in terms of where I see Jocko fitting more accurately it does feel like survivor skin is where he is better suited so here we also have future Mai potentially as well um so that's interesting we have MMI boots MMI sole MMI pants coat patch yellow you can see yellow here patch red belt glove face skin hair eye cap so although MMI doesn't spell my all of these kind of description, like either text things, related things are literally Mai. I guess the only thing that's not here in relation to Mai is a shotgun. I mean, they, they do specify the gloves, the belt, the patch that's yellow and um, red. The only thing they don't specify here is the shotgun that she carries because they, they did specify Jocko's uh, gun and the fact that it was white here. So that does, you know, there is some evidence that it might not be my potentially based on this uh you know description here but they literally have everything else right besides the shotgun so it feels like my is uh definitely up in the air for being a survivor skin as well so here the following have been present since at least season three but since the cell game announcer wasn't added this season i wanted to point them out here we have uh cga which stands for cell game announcer uh, announcer we have skin face skin tie hair boots suit mic like body band eye and shirt and that pretty much accurately uh, describes uh, the Silver Games announcer. So, very interesting. Uh, we don't know when the Silver Games announcer is going to be added as a survivor skin or what abilities they possibly could have. But, um, I mean, we this is kind of clear for uh, all three of these guys. I don't know if, uh, like, I mean, I guess if I were to guess, Jocko and Mai would probably be the purchasable ones where the Silver Games announcer would probably be the Dragon Tier one. That's kind of my hunch. But uh, we don't know if these guys are going to be grouped together, if they're going to be separate. We have we have no idea, but it's just very interesting that, uh, you know, we have this stuff in the files. Uh, last but not he uh, least here, uh, again, huge shout out to Demon Boy, kind of just wrapping up everything he's found in relation to Zamasu slash Goku Black. Want to post a recap on all the evidence we have for Zamasu slash Goku Black being the Season 5 Raider. In the code, the paths for Goku Black, Goku Black Rosé, Zamasu and few Zamasu have been removed in Season 4 when they had been there since Beta, which is a little uh, suspicious. At the start of Season 3, they removed the name and description text for a Goku Black, Vegito, and Trunks Capsule Corporation Outfit 3, excuse me, clothing sets. In Xenoverse 2, Trunks Capsule Corp clothes 3 in his green sweater outfit, so that's the one that he wore uh, during the Zamasu Goku Black saga. At the same time, there was also text removed for Gogeta, Soldier Piccolo, Broly DBS, uh, and Preschool Pan clothing sets, which we later got uh, this season, or are going to receive this season. So this is kind of just um, saying that since this was removed, with this also being removed, kind of points that it's going to be added shortly or very soon, since, um, you know... Gogeta was removed, Soldier Piccolo was removed, Broly DBS was removed, but then we are either getting or already received that for um, Season 4, right? So Divine Lasso is not only an emote, but a skill emote that has glowing key effects on it, which is something usually reserved for skill emotes related to Raiders. So all clear is an emote that's a level 4 cell super attack. Innocence Cannon is Fat Boo, level 2 Boo, super attack. Death Beam, um, obviously related to Frieza, etc. There is the placeholder map named TBD Season 5, which seems to confirm the data mine map City Ruins isn't going to be used for Season 5. Uh, City Ruins was originally um, assumed to be the map of the androids, so it's possible that they either push that 
forward and are trying to do Zamasu for season five. I mean, we don't know, but you know, there's again a lot of evidence pointing towards Zamasu in Goku Black for season five. A new physics definition file for Fuse Zamasu's outfit was added in the season four files. Uh, material definitions for Zamasu's eyebrows were added to the code in Season 4. This did not exist in the game or code at all before, which is very sus as well. Military Mai is a potential survivor skin according to the above leak by Winsor. And uh, here we have as well. So looking through the sound files this time, I found the Chilai, Lemo, and Hercule have response VO for talking to them. So this means when you're able to talk to uh, the various survivor skins in the actual lobby, they have like a little voice line that's played. This means that unless it was scrapped, at some point they are meant to appear in the lobby like all the other characters. I've been going through more of the physics files added in Season 4 and I came across ones I don't recognize. Or one I don't recognize. I can't figure out what the real name for it is supposed to be, thanks to the breakers constantly trying to hide the names of all of its files. But from looking throughout it as well as its position in the game data, I have no doubt this file is meant to be used uh, for Fusamasu's Patora, uh, Patara. This is uh, real interesting to note because in Xenoverse 2, his Patara earrings are completely static and have no physics. This is a completely new file that wasn't even referenced in the game last season before they tried hiding all the data re relating to Zamasu. So they're adding new data to Zamasu, a physics file for his Patara, which is very, very interesting. And Shuri, who uh, helps uh, boost the stuff that uh, DM or a DA has posted in other Discord here, says, I refuse to believe season 4 probably does not exist. Uh, Mr. Satan voice lines for uh, power pole and using till slash digging. Uh, credits to Demon Boy and, and um, Shenron for the clips. So here we have this. Let me turn uh, the lo-fi uh, down a little bit. So uh, here we have the voice clip. Get longer, stick! I could dig a hole better than anyone! So, uh, the first one is obviously... Longer, stick. I could dig a hole better than anyone. The, these voice lines are hilarious. So, the first voice line is pretty obviously uh, in relation to the power pole, which was uh, leaked actually earlier. Uh, I believe uh, Boma had a voice line, uh, Get Longer, I remember King Furry was saying. Um, so, a lot of characters had uh, voice lines for the power poles, but... Get Longer, Stick! I could dig a hole better than anyone. So the dig a hole could refer to Till, which is the farmer's active skill. But uh, this first forest line is very, very obviously, you know, in relation longer, stick. to the power pole, right? What else could uh, Mr. Sam be referring to except... I, I would hope it would be his power pole he's referring to. But anyways, all right. Here we have uh, more Mr. Satan voice lines. Y you yellow belly coward, come and fight me. Okay. T tell you what. As thanks, you've earned an autograph from yours truly. Oh, okay, so these are lines that I think are currently in the game. How does this work? Come on out already! This is probably Shenron, and then this... This you, I'm actually not sure. You yellow coward, come and fight me! But uh, I just wanted to show one more uh, piece of information that Demon Boy shared in the uh, other Breakers Discord, not mine. This is mine, so if you guys ever want to see this stuff, uh, you know, link in the description below. So we are now in the... Uh, Official breakers right at Discord. So the envoy also mentioned this here. I can't figure out the true name, but it's physics for just two pierce bones that attach to the head. So I guess here uh, it is for his Patara. Patara, this would be interesting because physics versus Patara. Okay, he actually kind of mentioned this before. So yeah, it's just the physics files for um Zamasu. But yeah, I think uh, everything in here was shown in um our Discord as well. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much uh everything that was shown slash revealed. Uh, lots and lots and lots of evidence pointing towards uh, Goku Black slash Zamasu for Season 5. Again, it's making me a little nervous, man, because I feel like Goku Black slash Zamasu is worthy of an anniversary. But uh, I guess they kind of want to keep the wave of maybe the announcement of crossplay, the game being free for PS Plus this month, uh, Season 4, uh, the anniversary of the game in general kind of keeping that momentum and maybe doing the Zamasu and Goku Black for Season 5 is how they intend to kind of keep that momentum. Um, in terms of Survivor skins, I think that Mai is being pulled from the files. I think it's highly likely that she could be one of the Survivor skins. Chaco could potentially. Chaco could be uh, potentially. I don't think the Cell Games announcer really makes sense, but maybe Launch 
because launch has been um in the files as well she could be like uh the dragon tier that really isn't like themed around the raider but jocko and mai could uh be fit more so um with uh, goku black and zamasu but guys let me know in the comments below again what you feel about these leaks i mean we literally just had another discussion video so i wanted to wait a little bit for uh more information before i talked about the new information uh, let me know do you guys think uh the episode four uh for broly do you think that has been scrapped do you think they're going to be adding that later this season do you think goku black and zamasu is going to be the raider for season five let me know in the comments below very curious to hear your guys' thoughts uh what do you think uh season five should be the androids or any other raider and it should save goku black and zamasu for the next anniversary um you know i'm kind of leaning towards that opinion just because i think goku black and zamasu is like worthy of like celebrating the anniversary of the game right but uh that being said uh you know let me know in the comments below your thoughts like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the arcane channel for more leaks and discussions like these i'll catch y'all in the next one take care stay safe have fun oh also before i, I leave you guys uh if you enjoyed this uh lo-fi that's uh playing in the background uh my buddy stray not stray stream like our friend stray that does my hero and uh breakers content my buddy stray michael uh actually makes a lo-fi that you guys hear constantly that i use all the time That'll be in the link in the description below. I, I forget to plug it. I use it all the time. I just forget. But uh, please check him out and, and send him some love. It's on Spotify. It's on Spotify. It's on Apple Music. I'm literally listening to it on um, Spotify as we speak. So just throwing that out there. Uh, yeah, here's the Spotify in the top right. That is Spotify. So uh, enjoy that. But uh, anyway, uh, guys, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Peace out.